I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber from Swinkujin and today we're starting with you guys solo leveling new show of 2024 yes we heard that this was going to be the anime of the year and I'm excited to see if it's true a lot of people were waiting for that show we have been seeing stuff about this for a while I, a friend of mine showed showed me the trailer or at least a teaser for, for the show a while back and I thought it looked interesting. Definitely looks good. I know it's about leveling up, obviously, but I, I forgot the details of the, the arc uh, of the trailer and I did not look further into it because I wanted to be surprised. But it looks good and I know it's inspired by a webcomic, so it's Korean as well. It's the, ja it's ja oh, the anime. Well. It's Japanese, so the, the, the Japanese will adapt the anime, yeah. but the characters will have Korean names and all of that, oh, okay. so this is pretty cool. cool. Uh, We'll see if it's as good as people say it is, but we're starting the year with this and uh, I hope you'll be in this journey with us. As usual, we'll have the full-length reactions to this episode on our Patreon, but since it's a live show, we will not have a, a earlier access to mm. the next episode. So, episodes come out on Saturdays, we will try to get them out by Sunday, and that's pretty much it. So if you want to check out our Patreon for the full length, the link will be in the description. And right. let's, let's go, guys. Three years ago. Back when things were good. Or not. <laughs> Before the fire initial <laughs> attack. <laughs> Weapons can do shit against these things. Chimera and <laughs> Magic would work. I do wonder why swords would be better than weapons. <laughs> mm. Okay, to level up then. So cool. I love magic, so this works. What level are you? 95. Over 9,000! God damn. Okay. Okay. I think that's the queen. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, okay. Not the bus. So what does the bus look like? Worse. God damn. Badass. Badass. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the bus. It's <laughs> the とすじょとして is he the only one who can do this? I guess. Apparently, it's just like you you have those powers, they equal to one rank. But him, it's called solo leveling, so I guess he gets to become stronger. But is there a limit to a this? Limit? Ah, I want to see this. I'm. There's a reason why we were interested in this show from the beginning. <laughs> It's interesting that not everyone has those abilities to fight back against those. Yeah, I guess some of them develop them. 
It would suck, by the way. If it ever happens in our world and I end up with nothing, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Wait, so... Mm. He's still coming back to do the job. I think he, even if he doesn't hear you, he knows. Aww. Like I said, even if he didn't hear it though, he'd know what they're talking about. <sighs> it would not think about the only guy who can do it. This is gonna be pushed aside then. You should just accepting it. I love that he's still trying to do the job. This is cool, by the way. It looks great. Don't you think that we got basically our own world and uh, magic world? There was one thing that comes back to me, I think, from a trailer. You might die. You might die. You might die. Dungeon break, I'm not Dungeon break, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die.彼らの要求は何も間違ってはいない。ダンジョンで得られる物資を売り、それを成りわいにしている人間だ。倒したモンスターから出てくる結晶体、金になる。うん。ダワン。ああ、ブレイド。ああ、ファージ。ジュシャ
Shahe. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Pretty bad else. Looking good too. Cannot handle people. <laughs> it's literally an underdog story. We're starting from the very bottom and we'll slowly make our way to the top. We can go lower than E rank. So yeah. But he's the weakest of the E rank. She doesn't want you to put yourself in danger. Yeah, but he feels like he has no choice. He doesn't have money. <laughs> yeah, they all gonna die. For sure. I don't want her to die. I don't want any of them to die. There's a guy that has a kid come in. <laughs> Like they're doing right now. Be afraid. They're doing a, they're making a mistake and just like in a zoo. It's a boss battle. Boss battle, yeah. The music is gonna change. This was a fucking E rank mission. They're not made the D for this. D rank they say. Yeah. They're not made for this. <laughs> The eyes go. <laughs> Is that the boss? I think the statue the the beats. Oh, uh, shit. Don't walk. Are they gonna have to fight all of them? Maybe. Let's leave. Did the eyes move? Yeah. Mm, that's creepy as shit. It's like the book of the dead from uh, from Evil Dead. Don't read it out, uh, out loud. I was reading it. I was thinking that. Sorry. Mm, yeah, you're all fucked. He must save my family. No. No one leaves alive. It's oh shit. Oh shit. Everyone's gonna die. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice! Or a but nice! But it's cool, the show has guts in. Literally. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it led to something else. The big one. <laughs> yeah. This time is different. Mm -hmm. You're a fighter. Don't give up. But he has no chance to become stronger. Yeah. It just broke. Oh, oh shit! That's it? That's <laughs> it? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna hate that this is a weekly upload, yeah. man. We're gonna suffer this time. I wish I could see episode two! <laughs> oh, but so far so good! Let me see if there's something in the end. Doesn't look like it. Okay. This is good so far. This is good. Okay. okay. So, from what I understood, 10 years ago, strange magic portals opened to a world full of beasts. Yeah. yeah. And some people were able to uh, awaken awake abilities, abilities. Uh, with S, A, B, C, D, and E ranks, and yeah. you're not you're not able to be, become stronger than your rank. Okay. You have the powers that you have, but 
we didn't see it in this episode, but he obviously will get a chance to become stronger since he, ha I guess his thing, his ability would be to level up. But that's, we saw other people oh, use... Do you think he's going to be able to level up if he dies? I think if he dies, he comes back with more strength. Maybe. Oh, that's going to be fucked Because there's no way that he's walking out of this. No. I think pretty much everyone's going to die. I Which think. I wonder, his friend is probably going to die as well. Unless something happens. But a boss battle, you would not be able to leave. Well, I mean, sometimes in games you can, but I the door clo closed and there's no way out. So... I think they might all die. Where's Kitty to when we need him? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know how it works. We'll see. The only way her, his friend might survive is either if she makes it out or like if whenever he dies and comes back, does he come back in the past and gets a chance to redo stuff differently? I don't know. I've seen too many shows where we do that. So I don't think that's... Reserved, we'll, wait, we'll wait for episode two to guess about him and his yeah. ability. But I think this could be his power because we saw many, many people... In this show, in this episode, it looks like you have one ability and this is yours. So one was strength, like the S rank uh, yeah. guild that showed up. Mm -hmm. One was strength, uh, like somehow he evolves into this, this Saiyan, Super Saiyan, and, and it's brute strength that is his thing. We saw uh, fire magic, we saw healing. Uh, so yeah, his friend is a healer. Uh, I haven't. We, we don't see him use any magic. He's E rank. I don't know if he's the only E rank hunter out there. No, they said that there's other E ranks out there. But they probably choose but not to become they, hunters. I think some of them managed to buy stronger weapons to kill stronger opponents. Well, you know. No, hunters in general get to do that. So even if you have low magic or not strong enough magic. If you still manage to kill a beast and get stronger weapons, you can still have a chance to fight. So that's why, by the way, I, I wanted to, you know, I said a comment about how if swords can kill beasts, how come guns can do it? That's because they are magic swords. Mm. So they have magic inside of them. I guess, I don't know, he's the only one we see in the E rank category, but I guess that's because he's the main character, so we needed to understand he was E rank. Even if he's not the only E rank, he might be the only one that chooses to fight him. And they kept saying he was the weakest hunter in the world. <laughs> so he really has no chance. But then again, he's also a good kid. He's got his mom who's at the hospital. He wants to help his sister get to college. He's got this... I mean, he was one of the, the, the few who got powers, I get. Even, even, I guess even though he was not strong, it's the only way he sees maybe to get money. He has nothing. Mm. His shoes are blown to hell he has barely enough money for a weapon that's the only way he sees so he's gonna go back even if it puts him on the verge of death and he's not coming back from this but obviously he's lucky but I wanna in that unluckiness <laughs> i want to say something though people might say that he might be the weakest hunter out there but he's got will but the fact that he keeps coming back he keeps fighting he keeps trying to do something that takes some sort of strength to do this. If you his know, power to not give uh, to not give up that yeah. easy. If his power has something to do with him dying and coming back stronger, that's gonna be important because that means he can never give up. So he he will need to keep trying to fight stronger opponents. I don't know how it works. Like I, it's not like oh I die so I I can just kill myself over and over again and I become stronger. I guess he'll have to fight stronger opponents and and get stronger through that. So his determination might help him. But again, we'll see what his power is mm. whenever we see that. I guess, I guess in next episode. Maybe that's why he cannot use his power for now. Because he never died yet. Well, I didn't see him use magic. But since he's E rank, I don't even know if it matters. <laughs> like if he has anything that he can use. Full HP. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, his power for uh, now. He took those wounds and it showed, uh, it showed... I like that they're not backing up from showing us the blood, yeah. from keeping it around, because that's something... Uh, sometimes we'll have anime characters who get hurt and the blood suddenly disappears from one fight to the other. I like when they keep it around as a reminder of this guy had those wounds, this is the result. Like, it's it's... I mean, it's not a detail, but it is, you know, because in my opinion, it's it's more than a detail. It's important. It's a reminder. It's mm -hmm. uh, And for him, it's really important because it's the reason why he should not be there. His friend was saying it. 
she wishes he would not put himself through this, but he has, he feels like he has no choice. I hope, I feel like his friend is gonna die. I hope she doesn't, but this is the only outcome I see here, so. Uh, I mean, unless he goes back at that moment and in time can to stop save him her. from going inside. But we will see. We will we'll see. see. But uh, yeah, it's a cool, interesting world with dungeons. It's like I said, it's a way to mix RPGs and mm. medieval sword fights and, and magic with modern world and associations. Mm. I think so far that's what I like about it. It's yep. like that you got uh, a, mi a mix of the two. I like how we're also like going even further. Like now, apparently, they want to use those uh, magic core or I don't know how they called it crystals. Crystals. Well, the crystals and the stuff they find in mm. the beasts. They want to use that as a reliable an energy source, which mm -hmm. would make sense if you have that, but it's reliable as a energy source, but to get it means putting people in danger, which would put a lot of importance on the hunters. So if you're not, I mean, the job would be coveted. Like you would want to become a hunter if you have the strength, but yeah, we'll see. Maybe that there's going to be more to this later, mm -hmm. like people trying to take advantage of it. Like we'll see how those dynamics work in the future with between the guilds. Because mm -hmm. that's it. That's the thing. If it's coveted, and if the more the stronger you are, the more you get, the richer you get. We'll see how those guilds might end up fighting each other. Yeah. How they might. Like if he ends up with a very strong. Like I don't know if there's is there a limit. Like can he go? Can he surpass S rank? That would be crazy. Double S rank. <laughs> Double S rank. Uh, but like, the, if uh, he gets fucking strong, those guilds will eventually want to have him. We'll get to meet those guys again for sure. I also like the fact that since we got this system of ranks right now, you got company. You said, "Oh my God, uh, we will uh, we will be uh, happy to hire you in a company. Uh, you're a C rank or you're a B rank. Kind of like you're an idol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about um, you but join I mean, me? I mean, it's like. Uh, uh, in today's world, some people value your degree or your education degree. It's it's like that, but with powers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and uh, it's a very modern way of thinking. But uh, because I mean, in if it wasn't magic, like if you were not born with those, or I mean, if you did not get this power, you have to train, and then you'd have the opportunity to yeah, become stronger. But, that's but the thing, this feels like opportunity. True, but. You typically don't choose your rank when you but I feel achieve like, it. I feel like it's interesting because it, it points a finger at the difference between working hard to get where you are and just being born with the opportunities given to you and having it all. Those who are born and get those, those S rank abilities, they have the most money, they have the most prestige, they know what they have. They might be assholes, by the way. I want to see more of them. <laughs> but they have this superiority yeah. from the get-go. They didn't work to get there. What happens when they face someone that is stronger than them? That's going to be interesting to see. But he will start from the very bottom and he'll, he'll have to make his way up. He is a representation of, of the underdogs. Those who had nothing, literally nothing... Yes, it, if his power is that he gets stronger whenever he gets beaten, that's one thing. But then again, I don't know how it works. It's still an opportunity to be given this chance to level up. But I feel like it's a it's a cool take on how the world works. But it's also the fact that from one of the so you said that some people might uh, resent him to be di to be this yeah. week. But Those who are strong will mock him, but he gets to show them how hard work will take him further than them. Yeah, but even even if he didn't have the possibility to level it up on his own, why would you mock someone that is weak if that person did not choose to be weak? I think it's not so much that they mock him, it's they pity him and they basically are like, eh, he has no chance of successing, so why is he coming back? It's basically like, that kid equals to nothing, so they just think it's funny. Some of them think it's funny, but others, the, those we saw who talked about him, did not mock him. They just talked about him like, yeah, he's not gonna do shit, like, we'll have to protect him. That's gonna be, that would be the way he would see this. Like, they constantly pity me, they constantly see me as a weak link, they, when we go into a dungeon and I'm there, they basically see that as confirmation. It's going to be easy. I'm a burden. But for him, it's always going to be a struggle. They might, he might be thinking like, oh, while they, sh they would be focusing on doing the job, they would be focusing on helping, you know, win this dungeon. Mm -hmm. Instead, they have to turn around and help me. So I'm, he's literally a burden, but 
he has to come back. They don't know what he's going through with his with his life, so they, are, I mean, to them, he might be crazy. Like, why the fuck is he doing this? So it's stupid. So it's not so much mockery, unless I haven't seen anyone who mocks him yet, but I would expect strong people to see him from, from up there, like, uh, looking down looking down at him like he's nothing. That's why I, I want to see more of the S rank True. hunters. But I mean, th to me, it is untenable to judge someone for his level of strength. When I just said they don't judge no, 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 but if people judge someone in that show yeah. for the level of strength, when you do, when you cannot become stronger, like you're you're basically stuck in that category. Do don't you know? Aren't people who were born rich doing the same thing no, I don't, I don't in know. real life? Like that, that's why I say I said it's a good uh, take on how it's you know some of them some of us are born with opportunities and others are not are born with nothing and we have to make our way up. That it's it's exactly that, but with money and opportunities and connections. The rich and famous who didn't work to get this, don't you think some of them look down at the poor and think it's funny that some of us struggle? Some yeah. of them don't understand the reality and they definitely don't understand what it's like to be in the, the middle class and lower class situation. I've heard people who had it all from the beginning say like, oh, why don't you get up off your ass and work? <laughs> when you never work to get what you have, but you will judge others. So it's easy when you don't understand the reality of someone else. And when you understand how dangerous it can be, you can definitely pity the guy who's and, and judge him for putting himself through that. Like maybe you'd be thinking like, you obviously don't have the strength. So why, why do you keep coming back? You must be stupid. Who do you think you are thinking you can equal us? This is a way you can judge someone who's I don't say I, I would think like that. I'm not saying no, that. No, but I'm guessing that some people will think like that. I'm seeing some of them might have that. That's why I keep saying I want to see the uh, stronger Boys hunters strength. and how they would react to him. That but, girl was interesting, though. I, but she looks cool, but she doesn't seem to ha love people <laughs> much. I don't think that she loves attention. She like just the, joined the big like girl. The, like so. uh, the fame or something. Yeah. We'll see. But uh, I'm very excited to see where it's going to go. I love a good underdog story, and this is literally that. Yeah. I want to see him prove to people that he can get better and he can kick ass. I want to see him become badass. And it's it's going to take time, and he's going to struggle, but I'm in for it, and I'm glad we're watching this. All right. Yeah. And by the way, there's one thing I wanted to say. Uh, the fandom for this is doing its job already because <clears throat> the names are Korean, but at the beginning, they switched them for Japanese names. And, um, I mean, at least when they got a few of the, the, I think they, they talked about the project, they had switched the names and the fandom went batshit crazy and they were like, uh, no, his name is Jin Woo, it's Korean. <laughs> but I mean, when you're so used to a name for a character I know, I know, but and it's being adapted, you would expect to have the same name again. Not always. Not but always, but I know the respect still. You know? I the fandom went crazy, and they were like, "You, you want to adapt this? You keep the names, and they switched it back to give oh, them the actual names." That's nice. That's what I heard. Fandom. That's what I heard, and this is pretty cool. Uh, respect the original material, but it looks great, so I'm excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this first episode with us. Hopefully, you are you will be with us on this journey, and next week when episode two comes up you'll be there to watch it with us. Uh, like okay. I said, the full-length reaction will be on Patreon. The link is in the description below. All right, so see you next week, guys. See you next week. Bye.